Let's open a segp1 file that contains a descriptor. To import this descriptor, we select Include Descriptor. Then we click on the descriptor column heading and click at the beginning of the descriptor and the end of the descriptor. This defines the columns where the descriptor can be found. When we select Include Descriptor, we also have the option of parsing or removing defined characters or strings from the descriptor. We can also replace the descriptor. If we select Modify Coordinates, we can translate, rotate, or scale the coordinates of our input file. We can also transform our input file if we select Transform Data. To import heights, we select Include Height. Here, we can define the linear units used for our height data, whether it's meters or U.S. feet. We can also modify our heights. We also have the option of converting orthometric heights to WGS84 ellipsoid heights or the reverse. If we have first selected the proper geoid model and specified the input coordinate system. If we select Import Geographics, we can select the correct format that matches our input data or we can use Automatic, which covers most common formats. We also have to select the correct datum of our geographic coordinates. We can parse or remove characters or strings from our station. We can also modify our stations or filter our input data based on station values. Before we modify or filter, we have to enter the correct number of bin digits or we can use zero to use the entire station value. When we select Modify or Filter, you will have various options available for your use.